um, non-resistance, um, how can we kind of move forward through life, like taking this principle through yoga and through the mat and through our life? How can we, how can we move through life in a non-resistant way? It comes back to, I mean, it all threads together. Mm. When we become quiet, and when we steer our mind back towards its inherent quality of tranquility, of calm, of peace, what it allows to rise forth is this capacity for clear seeing. So to see the moment as it is without needing to place a story on it. What rises from that is present moment awareness, to rest in the moment exactly as it is. And this really takes us into these uh, deeper experiences or meditative experiences where we can come to know ourselves more fully. And, um, you know, all of that, all of that allows for a level of acceptance. It all feeds into the other. And the acceptance is how we live without resistance. It's how we can, and again, it's not to say that you won't feel the feathers ruffled. You won't feel that slight contraction, but it, it's that ability to pause. And instead of reacting immediately, just to allow ourselves to feel, to feel the irritation, to feel the anger, to see it to let that move through you and, and to show all of the feelings, joy as much as sorrow, warmth, and then, then we move through life. And so it's, it's that relearning of, of again, non-labeling, non-judgment. And, and it's tough. I'm still doing it myself. Like, you know, more and more I come to realize there's certain emotions that I will just repress and I, I won't feel, and there's two levels. Maybe we'll feel too much, but, it comes down to, to these perceptions that we've been conditioned to believe. Anger is bad. Joy is good. No, they're necessary emotions that need to move through the body. And so all of these practices enable us to carry a level of awareness where we can, again, it's this witness. Mm -hmm. We can just sit with it mm -hmm. and accept it and then choose to move through in a skillful way that, that serves us. And, and that's, that's the key to non-resistance just the the acceptance to to meet each experience to see it as an opportunity for growth to know that there's a way through we don't have to catastrophize we don't have to get caught in the limitation around it just to pause and be with it first even if it feels uncomfortable and then you'll be guided you'll listen to that voice of intuition and you'll and you'll move through in the way that feels accessible yeah yeah absolutely 